Hello all my nerd friends out there, this is Mr. Chill here and we got some One Piece to talk about. One Piece chapter 1080 and it is greatness baby. This is what makes One Piece great right here. You know, when we kind of leave uh, the Straw Hat story for a little bit, you know, don't talk about the Straw Hat Pirates, talk about what's happening around their story, you know, talking about what's happening in the outside world. Right now we jump into the Blackbeard's Island, you know, his little rogue island for all the rogue pirates out there that he's king of. Then we're, we're basically seeing what's happening with Kobe. Because we all know Kobe got captured by Blackbeard. When um, Blackbeard went to go battle Hancock on her island, and Kobe was there and he, during that little squabble they had over there, Kobe got captured. And now he's trying to escape. Basically, we see Blackbeard's crew. They're looking OP. They're, they're, we're seeing their gun gum, um, their devil fruit powers. We're seeing how strong they are. They're all looking pretty strong. You know, I can't wait. Because you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen in the future of One Piece. We don't know what's going to happen this year, next year, probably. The last year of One Piece is going to happen. We're going to see the Straw Hat Pirates versus the Blackbeard Pirates. That's going to be epicness right there. That's going to be awesome. See, these crewmates, see this whole crew, Blackbeard's crew versus Straw Hat Pirates, that's going to be awesome. Because we see how strong they're looking. And all Blackbeard's pirates have devil fruit powers. All who rocks with him have devil fruit powers. So that's going to be awesome. Just hope there's not a typhoon or hurricane that comes over and wash the island with a fight on and they all drown because <laughs> they all can't swim. And right now, actually, Blackbeard, he's not here on the island. He's, we all know what's happening Blackbeard. I wonder if we're ever going to get the answer to that. Blackbeard's all fighting law right now, the lost pirate crew. And we don't know how that's going down. But right now, we're seeing their, his crew chasing down Kobe. Kobe's trying to escape. Some of the Navy soldiers attempt them, help them escape. And basically, he got cornered. He got almost trapped. He's about to catch her, but who guess who came and saved his ass? All right, the Navy actually came, but we always still know we are, we found out some new secrets what Kobe is now, and basically we probably found out some interesting how popular Kobe is. Very actually, Kobe got very very popular. You know, um, he is part of the new. There's like a a, a, a secret kind of like a secret organization that the Navy has or protocol, whatever it's his sword, yeah. Uh, was also you're w wasting your time. I'm a member of Sword. Yeah, Kobe is part of a group called Sword. Basically, they uh how they explain it. Sword. Let's see. Everyone in Sword has officially reassigned their commission that allows them to ignore certain command protocols. For example, they can fight an emperor like you without authorization, and the navy can always diverge division their action. And cut them loose at any point. So basically, the rogues, rogue navy so soldiers, in a way, you know, they still navy, but basically, the navy can say, "Hey, we're not part of them. They they mess up, they're gone. They they're not part of us. We don't know them." Or uh, if the navy gives them a terrible order, like I think that's why Kobe did it. Because if the day comes, the navy goes after uh, Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates, he could refuse. Like, no, I'm not doing this. I think ever since what happened to Luffy's brother Ace. That because Kobe was there, what happened to Ace, he basically um changed. He saw that view, he made that speech that Shank and everyone garb admired. Um, and he that changed his view of the Navy. He sees the Navy could be ruthless and cruel, that every order they give is not right. So he joined this organization, Sword. He's a member of Sword, and there's other members in there. Basically, that those are the good, I believe, the good version of the Navy. You know, they believe um, every order that the Navy gave gives is not the great order. They're not the right order. So they, they have the right to obey them, like disobey them. And they won't get in trouble for it. And um, right here, it's actually kind of like a bad thing now because the Navy could never bring him in. That's why uh, he even said, yeah, you're wasting your time, Black um, Blackbeard. You think the Navy cares about me? Nah, they're good. We don't care about him. He's probably gone now. He's like, get rid of him. Who cares? The Navy doesn't give a shit about Kobe now. But some of the members do of the Navy. So he has some friends still. And guess who came to save his ass? Ooh, boy. We got Vice Admiral Garp. And this is actually the first time we see him use his power. Use his hockey. Because he doesn't have no devil food powers, obviously. He was known for his hockey. How strong he is. This guy... 
fought Gold Rogers, the Rock Pirates, captain of the Rock Pirates, fought side by side with Cap uh, Gold Rogers, fought side by side with him against the Rock Pirates, against Big Mama, Kaido, Whitebeard, during that big epic war, war that shook the world, obviously, that made him a legend. Um, he, obviously, he caught Gold Rogers, but Co oh, Gold Rogers turned himself in. Um, but all the, the legendary fights, Admiral Garp showed up, and this actually... I, when I read this, it made me they were teary up in a bit too, because it was kind of like Garb saw something in Kobe as well. Like since that incident, like I say, he saw something definitely um, during the war with Ace and the White Bear War. Uh, so it's fine. Simon Garb says, "Listen up, you turds! As far as you should th thought twice before you kidnap Kobe. He is the future of the Marines. Like he thinks highly of Kobe, and he thinks he's a protege. Like that's gonna be." Kobe one day will replace Garp. Like, that's going to be... I'm training him to replace me one day. That's how Kobe's become this strong and becoming this legendary in the Navy so far. Kind of like rising up the ranks like Luffy is in the Navy world. And this is what came up my prediction. You know, this is an awesome chart. This actually makes... I made this prediction a long time ago when I got into One Piece. The ending of One Piece, how I saw it. You know, the first episode of One Piece, if you all remember, is Lu uh, Kobe... Was riding a boat by itself, um, found a barrel that had Luffy in it, and that's how they both met. Kobe and Luffy. Kobe wants to be a great Navy soldier, Navy Admiral. Part he won the great Navy soldier, be a great Navy. Um, Luffy want to be king of the pirates. They both had dreams, both opposite sides, obviously. And um, I came up with this prediction. You know what's going to happen in the end? This is my prediction. What's going to happen in the end of One Piece? Is Colt obviously Luffy finds the One Piece, but they're gonna do a major ton, time jump. I think he's gonna have the same ending as Gold Rogers. I think that's that has to be like in the way all the battles, all the sacrifice Luffy did to his body. I think he gets sick, gets ill. Um, I think he's not gonna have a long le life to live. I think he's gonna be like kind of like Gold Rogers, he's getting sick, he's gonna have one last journey, and that's gonna find the, the One Piece. Same thing, like we saw. So he, he, to pardon his whole crew, because they're all still outlaws, they're still criminals in the pirate world, they all have bounties, he's going to basically, he's the one the Navy wants, and he's going to turn himself into Kobe, that is the Admiral now, he is a higher up in the level, he's going to do the same thing, and they're both going to sit across each other from prison, or sit by, by, side by side, and he's going to Basically, they're going to remember how we did first, man. It's so crazy. And, you know, Kobe's going to cry. He's going to turn his best friend. But Luffy wants this. Like, he wants to give himself up and um, and pardon his friends. And everyone have their own life. His whole crew would have their own life. He live because he knows he's going to die. And he remember, he sacrificed some of his lifespan during the war, the White Bear War, trying to save his uh, brother, Ace. Like, um... I forgot that guy that ejected them say, if you do this, you're going to sacrifice some of your life, but he doesn't care. So he maybe developed some disease from that or he gets sick. He been do a lot, a lot of fights, a lot of close deaths, Luffy. So I believe he, he will die in the end of the story. And that's good. It's sad. And Kobe's the one that bring him in. I see that happening. Like what Garb did with Go Rogers, he took Go Rogers in, turned him in um to the navy and put in the execution i see the same thing will happen to luffy as well and that's i think that's 100 percent gonna happen it started with them two kobe and luffy it's gonna end with kobe and luffy as well i think that's last episode last episode last chapter where you want to say it but that's that's my prediction that kobe's gonna capture luffy obviously because he's gonna turn himself in because he's dying same fate as go rogers that's the prediction I see. And it's kind of... Garp just admit it. He, Garp's going to turn Kobe into the next Spice Admiral. He's going to be like him. He's going to turn... Kobe's going to be like Garp. And that's the same way they're going to have it. Maybe even maybe we get one more time jump. And Kobe... You see all his crewmates, all his friends right here. These, these are the people that are saving them. Maybe they team up. Kind of, you know, like the Rock Pirates have... Garp and Gold Rogers teamed up against the Rock Pirate, Legendary Rock Pirates in that epic fight. Maybe that's the ending. Maybe we got a little prediction right there that that's the last battle. Maybe we get one more time jump 
A little older version of Luffy. This is another. I just thought of it right now. Kobe is a fight samurai now. He's more higher up. And he joins Luffy. Um, fight side by side with each other. His crew. With his crew. To fight Blackbeard's crew. Whoa. That will be epicness. Imagine that. Blackbeard, maybe he gathers more crewmate, more stronger villains that Luffy fought in the past. Maybe his army gets more stronger. Maybe Don Flamingo walks over there. Maybe Luffy gets the long kid on his side. Maybe some just epicness. Because that's what Oda said, that the last battle of One Piece will be greater than the, the whole war with Whitebeard and Ace and the Marines, all that. More bigger than that. I, that will be huge. It's somehow... Go, um, Kobe becomes like the new Garp and becomes that strong. He is getting stronger and rising up the ranks in the Navy and has a big follower and the Navy start following Kobe more and joins Luffy in the fight against Blackbeard and stopping. Kind of like um, predicting, redoing that whole Rocks, Pirates versus Gold Rogers and Garp. Imagine that. Could we be getting that? Is that did I just get the prediction of the ending of One Piece? Of, like, did I get that prediction of the ending of One Piece? The last battle of One Piece, the last war? Is that going to be the last arc right there? Imagine that. That will be so epic. Comment below. You think I'm that close? I'm right. That we're going to get, like like I said, the, the, the first big war of all the pirates, basically. That was the Rocks against the Navy and Go Rogers, Garp and Go Rogers against the Rock Pirates. You think that could be like that? Blackbeard's crew against Kobe and the Navy, and uh, he runs the Navy and Luffy and the Straw Hat Pirates. That's gonna be huge, man. Basically, Luffy's like the new Gold Rogers. If um, Kobe's gonna be the new Garp, that would be crazy. That's that's not crazy, man. I can see that happening. I can see that happy. Oda, I hope I didn't spoil your your ending. That big war. I wonder if I'm right. But if I'm right, whoa, make sure I'm saving this video on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go back and gonna tell everybody because I'm definitely going to review that. This channel could be up for a long time. That's going to be crazy. I want everyone to remember this day if I'm right. The big epic war right there between that's going to be the last battle, the last battle of One Piece, the last war. The Blackbeard Pirates is probably going to be more bigger, more badder, more evil people in there, more evil pirates. Against Straw Hats and Fice Arrow Kobe. He's going to be the new Fast Arrow. By the time, I bet you we get one more time jump. One more time jump to be both mature, be more powerful, more stronger. And the whole crew, there are more people joining the crew. I bet you sometimes Law, I mean, I bet you Law joins Straw Hats or the, the Rock. They have like a bunch of allies that join that. Just could be epic. That's going to be, woo. I could see that happening because, woo. I think. I think that that's going to happen. I, I got myself excited. We'll see. I could be wrong or I could be right. But comment below. Give me your guys' thoughts on chapter 180. And give me your guys' thoughts as, as on my prediction. Could that be right? Could any of One Piece be uh, Kobe brings Luffy in for the execution? He turns himself into the Navy. Like the same thing that Gold Roger did with Garp. Is Kobe the next Spice Hour on Garp in a way? He's going to grow up be like him. A better version of him. Or, and, is my prediction right, the last battle of One Piece, the last war that Oda told us that was going to be huge and big is the Blackbeard Pirates, way bigger and stronger, like one more time jump, we get way bigger, stronger Blackbeard with, against Luffy, the Straw Hat Pirates, and Kobe, that's Vice Admiral, and he has the Navy on his side, both teaming up to go against the Blackbeard Pirates. The same, like back in the day, it was Garp and Gold Rogers versus the Rock Pirates. They had Big Mama, Kaido, and Whitebeard, the strongest pirates out there, and Captain Rocks. We'll see. I bet you that is. I bet you I got it right on the book. I'll put some money on that. But give me your guys' thoughts. Am I right? Please comment below. I'd like to hear it. But thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And please. Tell all your friends about my channel. Share this. Hit that notification to get all my manga views. I love talking manga with you guys. I love talking anime with you guys. We got Demon Server coming back. I'm going to be talking about that. We got a lot of good shows coming. Jujutsu Kaisen. There's so much good anime. So happy. 
good manga stories. Baruto's coming around. Black Clover, Epicness, just a lot of good manga to talk about. Love talking about. So make sure you hit that notification to get all my manga reviews and animated talk. But thank you all for watching again. I hope you all have a good day. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy Sunday. Hope you all have a great day. Take care. Have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever.